Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 14th going to the 20th of February. So let's have a little look together and see what's going on for you guys. I will mention because you guys are the last air sign that I'm going to record today is that there seems to be a theme happening for the air signs this week and it has a lot to do with kind of restart in life a little bit you know uh, kind of wanting and desiring new experiences and, and new relationships like with it doesn't have to be partnerships but with people you know you're wanting to connect with different kinds of people and in different environments so travel is likely or again just completely changing how things are going in your life might be more tempting this week than in other weeks you know to completely turn your life into something you've never experienced before uh, whether that's financially career wise i feel like a lot of people are making big career decisions around this time in terms of like completely going into new industries and etc etc you know so there is a lot of um, that coming through, but let's see what's going on for the Libras in general this week. Please, Spirit, what can you tell us? Go the distance. Well, that's that go getter energy. Yeah. I love this. Look at this. Always. <laughs> Literally, as I've just been saying, on the bottom of the deck, by the way, I just saw 111 as I'm saying this. So, a very good sign if you see that for your manifestations to be coming to life. Kind of like a confirmation from Spirit here that things are working out in your favor. Um, and I feel like in ways that you could never imagine. Now I'm kind of seeing, sorry, intu intuitions kicking in right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting a sense here that this is gonna be easier than what you expected. I feel like in your head, you're like, life has been so hard recently or in the past anyways, I've always been kind of, I'm kind of seeing someone who's just walking through mud here, like really thick mud. Like you've kind of felt like you've been through the dirt basically. Um, and things have been difficult for you moving forward, but I, I kind of get a sense that that was because you was in the wrong environment, in the wrong relationships. Um, but now that you're moving in, into something that is divinely supposed to be a part of your destiny, you know, uh, this is going to be a lot easier for you. And I'm, I, I feel like I hope this is going to give you some hope, um, but it kind of feels as though this is just the truth. I feel like this is things from now on are going to be, of course, there's challenges in life. I'm not going to disregard those. Those are always there to help us, to remind us that life is just a journey of ups and downs. But I feel like things are going to get so much easier for you now. And you're realizing that the things like relationships aren't actually as hard as what it used to be and uh, work because you're now doing something more important to you, something more purposeful to you. It's no longer as difficult as the work that you were doing before. You know, you're going to start to see these changes that things kind of run more smoothly when you are in alignment to yourself. And uh, this is exactly what's happening for you. The regeneration card here, Libra, always states that you've been removed from things and situations that just weren't good enough for you. Maybe it was toxic. That word is coming to mind. I don't want to chuck that out there for everybody, but it's, it wasn't for you, basically, is the thing coming to life here. You are an old soul. I wanted to say, though, Libra, you are heavily protected by spirit. It may not seem like that, um, especially when you want something so badly, a person, a situation, um, in that moment when spirit's pulling you away from them or when spirit's pulling them away from you, it can feel like soul destroying. It can feel like, um, you know, things just aren't going my way. It never does. But this is saying here that this was actually for your protection. You'll start to see this unless some of you have seen this already. When spirit does this, it's because something is just not serving you and you might even discover someone's secrets after you move away from them or you'll start to realize that that was such a toxic environment for me, but it's only now that I'm out for it, that I, out of it that I can really see it for what it truly was. Because this is divine light coming in and rescuing you from something that was very harmful. I always kind of see this like heaven and hell. <laughs> Spirits coming in is taking you away from the hell that you were through. You know, the heat, the it's, it's kind of devil energy. So, uh, toxic people again narcissists this is people who have like i'm hearing power plays people who want power uh and obsessed with power over you um this could have been abusive situations too i just get a very heavy sense of there was a just a lot of heat chaos fiery energy you know i just feel like always feeling hurt always feeling bruised and i really hope that because for some of you libra they're showing me this physically and i really hope this is not happening to you anymore and i really hope you guys can find, if it is find some help here i would definitely reach out to people if you can if you're still going through something like that because you don't deserve it there is something much better out there for you the situation and this person uh just not a part of your alignment you deserve better things my loves and i feel like you're starting to see that now by whatever you're being pulled away from 
Now, without that, <laughs> we're moving away from that. Regeneration is about transformation. Four and six, big, 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 big changes have happened or are still happening in your life. For the better, because we do have go the distance. Now, this is your reading. That was past. This feels more present. You are now more ambitious than ever. I feel like you are more go-getters. And within this week, you're going to have this very, oh, I just want to get things done. Very ambitious. Uh, I'm getting so much fire now this is good fire because it feels like it's in my belly you guys are more ambitious you guys are desiring more things out of life and people say desire is bad i, I say it's a human emotion as long as too much of anything of course is becomes toxic and I, this word is coming up so much in your reading unfortunately but this feels like this is a healthy amount and a healthy dose of ambition and power and believing that you can do something so much that you just go and get it despite what anyone else says. This is really about doing things for yourself. This is about you kind of working on your dreams and goals and actually taking action to pursue them. And maybe in the past, you dreamt of things that you wanted to achieve, but of course never got around to doing it. This is not the case this week because I'm seeing you are achieving your dreams and more. The go the distance is saying you're not just going to tackle the obstacles that are in front of you, but there is more that you're going to be doing and receiving out of life because of this fiery energy. And I feel like this is a sense of freedom as well, which only makes sense with that regeneration card on the bottom of the deck, because now that you are away from something that kept you kind of stuck, and again, that, that mud energy, I see you trudging through the mud. Now that you have all this clear space and like a smooth road ahead, of course, with some blockages, but not near as what you've been through, by the way, maybe that's why it just seems easier because you're just running now. You were kind of crawling, really finding it difficult to put one foot in front of the other. Now, all of a sudden, there is this momentum. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just seeing so much movement happening. You're not chasing things. You're now going to get it. There is this smile on your face when you do things now because it's more purposeful. I just love the energy coming through. I'm sorry. <laughs> then we have message in a bottle here, which says that there is an announcement coming away, which we're going to dive a little bit deeper. You guys, message in a bottle, I will also say this doesn't have to be physical communication, although for some of you, you could be getting like, uh, it's going to be an offer, but I'm going to look into it because it's very general right now. This could even be the universe sending you more signs and signals and maybe even more dreams and goals. I feel like... Um, Again, there's momentum here. So as soon as you start going, I feel like there is this inability to stop. You guys are going to be like, tick, 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 like always going. I just feel like I keep wanting to do that. Oh, we love this. Spirit's kind of leading the way though. I love that. Just pay attention a bit more to everything around you because I really see that this is where spirit is guiding you. You might see more angel numbers. You might hear the like, kind of songs that mean something to you and in and, and moments that it really kind of resonates. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Spirit, what can you tell us for Libra? Seven of Cups, options. This can also mean a little bit of confusion. Maybe you just, again, were a little bit startled by something that happened. Let's clarify this. The Death God wanted to come in there. Scorpio energy, but again, it's about transformation. I feel like something ended, something happened, and it kind of startled you a little bit. It may have taken you a little while to kind of come back to your senses after this happened to you. Clarify Seven of Cups. Eight of, yeah, there is a lot of ideas coming through about how to make that money. Libra, I love to see this. This is about you grounding yourself though. And I feel like what you're focusing on now is grounding your work most likely, grounding your finances. So a really good time to save. I can actually see that the moment you start saving, I feel like you're going to start to see some really good results coming through. But the Ace of Pentacles is not just about your finances. This is about seeds that you're planting. Most likely new streams of income. With a magician here, this is about you doing multiple things at once. So I do see that there will be a few streams of income coming your way. Just be a little bit aware that your emotions don't get the best of you by the, oh my God, look at the, <laughs> my hand is shaking so much. Anyways, <laughs> uh, the Five of Cups is just saying, look, you have a lot of things that you're most likely going to be doing. I'm seeing so many streams of income. Not everything is going to work out. I feel like some ideas are, of course, going to fall through. Um, just try not to hold on to that too much. It's inevitable, by the way, that this stuff is going to happen, uh, that things aren't going to work out the way that you want it to. But as long as we aren't too emotional about it, pull yourself out of this by understanding that there is still some ideas that will work for you and that are... Um, are still there for you to try out because I feel like this is a trial and error phase for you, which is why I think you've been giving this um, ambition and motivation 
so that you can get this done without allowing your emotions to get the best of you because the moon card can bring in some again deception of some kind and underneath that you do have the seven of swords this can bring in trust issues be careful of not let because this kind of feels like sab self-sabotaging more than anything else i don't actually see there being a physical threat around you when it comes down to deception this may be past energy you're going to mistrust here or again mistrust in yourself feeling like am i actually going to be able to do this though yes you are but don't let these things that maybe it's rejection maybe it's just things again that don't work for you this is just purely things that don't work for you it's a good thing that you found this out now rather than later down the line when you've invested your whole life into it you know what i mean this is just purely saying try to see rejection a little bit better try to see things not working out in a little bit more of a positive way with the five of cups seeing it seeing the silver lining of course it hurts when something doesn't go the way you want it to especially if you really really want it to but this is saying that there is always something else. There's always a solution to better your situation here. Try not to run away from things because it gets too intense. Try not to mistrust things and situations here. And try not to doubt yourself as well, okay? Because the moon card can bring in, maybe this is noise, uh, voices from people who conditioned you to feel this way about yourself. Just be aware that this might not always be the truth, the, the feelings and the, the thoughts coming to mind. I think it's really important to see it when you're out of this state okay emotions are so important but i feel like sometimes they can be very deceptive i'm just saying don't shoot the messenger but anyways look at this yes manifesting a very healthy stream of income a very stable beginning and i feel like there is a lot that you guys are going to be achieving the eight of pentacles brings in money which is always good to see but it's through the work that you guys are doing which again i feel like this is that ambitious nature coming through the seven of cups may be a little bit confusing maybe you do have a lot going on right now or are you feeling a lot right now again the emotions might be the things that are a little bit troublesome at this time but i feel like this is to do with the options you have around you here which is about which one do I do first and which one's gonna work out. It's trial and error. The first things that you pick might not be the things that work out for you, but you do have very solid grounding here. The magician is asking you to remind yourself of the power that you have. You can make anything work, anything work. You have all the tools to be able to do that, but if things don't go in your favor, don't doubt yourself for it. Even the most successful people have been through failures, right? So it's not personal. It's not personal at all. It just means we've learned something. Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that is too many cards here. I want to talk about this message in the bottle here to see what this is. The Five of Swords. This could be from someone who you have walked away from. Here, Libra, with the Page of Wands. The, <laughs> I, just, I just get a sense here. Right, I'm just going to clarify that before I say it. I do get... This could be an old friend. I, you're rejecting this so much you're not even paying attention to this the five of swords is a separation with someone this feels like maybe a past person here libra the thing is i kind of get a sense of why on earth are you talking to me that's what i'm kind of i'm seeing here why are you talking to me this feels like you by the way someone might be offering you this cup so it could be a romantic offer here um it's coming though through as this page of wands so it's more of a cheeky energy more of like a passionate energy than anything else. But you're rejecting this, by the way. You're kind of like, hmm, what do you want? With the uh, Queen of Wands, you're like, I'm on a very different level. <laughs> Page and a Queen, come on. You can't be coming at the Libras with this kind of offer. Do you not know Libra has a lot of options? Do you know Libra is beautiful inside and out, radiates happiness, growth? I just feel like you're rejecting this. With the Five of Swords anyways, you've most likely already walked away from this person here. Let's clarify that one more time. The Ten of Pentacles wanting to come out with the moon here. I just feel like you're more focused on your abundance here. This person maybe took a lot from you, like energy or even money-wise. Look at you, Libra, look at this. I just feel like you have so much recognition, so many options here. You have a lot of attention on you. Well, here, the message in the bottle is from someone here, though. Someone that you've walked away from. Someone from the past. This is what I mean by you, you're on a very different level right now. This person may have put you through a lot. It kind of feels like this is a, an illusion here, so don't be tempted. Which a lot of you guys are rejecting this anyway. You might even just ignore this person. You're fine. I wouldn't worry about this. You'll focus more on your abundance, the things that you're creating in your finances. 
The death card, yeah, you've changed. Someone could be saying that to you, but don't take it personally, it's a good thing. <laughs> a page is telling you in a queen level, regardless of gender here, that you've changed. Yeah, we're supposed to. <laughs> we're not supposed to stay immature. It's a very immature person, okay? The death card coming through, you've changed, which is good. You've kind of ended this cycle, which is nice. And you're now focusing on yourself. You're pampering yourself. You're looking for uh, someone who is long-term. With the swan here, you're not looking for a page. You're looking for an emperor, regardless of gender again. You're looking for someone who uh, takes action and, you know, um, says what they mean and means what they say, you know. You're looking for someone you can build an empire with. And this page, how dare they? Look at them. You're just like everyone else. They could, yeah. If this is judgment. This is someone coming through with a second chance, wanting a second chance with the Hierophant. I think you've moved on already, Libra. <laughs> Let's just be honest. This person's just very troublesome, very chaotic. I feel like um, with the Five of Wands again, this person could be trying to pick a fight with you and you're walking away. With the Five of Swords, again, you're not entertaining drama. This could be, if this isn't relationship-wise, this could very much be, again, just uh, p old friends, people who just want to gossip here, conflict. This person chats a lot. Could be a Gemini. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm joking. I don't know who they are. <laughs> but this person brings a lot of chat with them, you know. Barely any action, though. This is what I mean. You're not wanting someone like this around you anyways. It does feel like someone from the past, though. It could be friends, again, family, lovers. Could be anybody. Could be a few people, actually, with a five of wands. Yeah, you're growing exponentially. And this person or these people are just, they, they're always going to stay the same, you know. That's what it feels like anyways. Yeah, whereas you're minding your business. I feel like, look at this. Well, here we go. You might have met this emperor already. <laughs> Libra, let's go. Or maybe this, ooh, this feels nice. This is someone who's even, this feels like someone that you know, by the way, someone who's waiting for you, someone who has been waiting for someone like you. You two are gonna click very um, easily. We have Sagittarius energy coming through Taurus as well with the Temperance card. This is someone who's very patient with you or you're very patient with them, vice versa. I feel like it could be their energy because we have the Seven of Pentacles. This person is very ambitious too. This is the empire. This is what you've been looking for. I love this. You both have been looking for each other. That's what it seems like. Justice, Libra, this is your energy. All right, this is a very fair, equal give and take relationship. I'm gonna put these two cards together, major arcana cards, but this is because this is your justice. It's what you deserve. And I think it's on both cases. I feel like you both deserve each other. Nice. Well, with the temperance card, it is about, yeah, it's about patience. I feel like the two of you get on very well, emotionally especially, which is nice. Anything else here? Anything else? Anything else with the Emperor? The Eight of Swords. Judgment. We might be hesitant on opening this new door with this person. Maybe this is someone who you've, yeah, because the judgment, I will say, this could be someone else that you know. With the Four of Swords and a judgment card, there might have been a need for healing in a situation or a time apart in the past, most likely. With the Eight of Swords, there's a little bit of a feeling a little bit stuck. Maybe someone's still healing from something, and that could be what it is. But the Temperance card brings in healing, so I see that this situation is very likely going to, uh, to transform, absolutely. But I think someone needs time, and that's fine. I feel like with the Temperance card, that's fine. Hmm. All right, so anyways, let's pull you out some angel guidance here. We'll say it's a match, though. We have answered prayers, so here we go. Your prayers are being answered. We have emerging, which is all about you again, coming outside your shell, discovering yourself here. We have listening and trust. This is about you, well, the universe listening to you and you trusting that things are gonna work out. This is great for manifestation, which we have the magician here, which only makes sense. Trusting in yourself as well, also very important, but also trusting in others. I feel like someone's listened to you uh, in your story. And I feel like this is about trusting each other and what you both need. 
But let's pull you out some love cards. Here we go. That was quick. We have ascending. A lot to do with you transforming. Like transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So some of you will be in a relationship very soon. Lightning, sudden change. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Not today. Avoiding a conversation. This could be you rejecting this person, by the way. But all of a sudden here, Libra, I get a sense here that something was ascending in a relationship then all of a sudden someone may have started to ignore your calls or with the not today card it kind of feels like someone might just be like someone might put a wall up maybe this has happened already but i mean this could be the emperor someone could just suddenly put a wall up here i don't know why though this is the one i'm gonna be honest with you I feel like it's because they're scared of being hurt again or maybe there's still some healing involved with this person because I'm kind of getting a sense this is welcoming love, welcoming in the one. We do have a divine match, by the way, a team, a pair, a couple. You guys are talking. I just sense, yeah, the runner energy is here, but I don't, I don't think that this is a runner and chaser type energy. I just kind of get a sense here that someone might place some very sudden boundaries because, um, things might have escalated too quickly for them or they might have just discovered that they still need to heal from some fears it's likely to turn around again i mean this could be you and that's they're they're waiting for you it's interesting all right my angels i love you guys i wish you all the best a great week and a great life well a great life <laughs> of course always challenges uh will always arise you know but um i feel like you're dealing with them a lot better than you used to and you are now in alignment to where you're supposed to be going so it's always nice to see all right i love you guys i will see you guys next week okay